All right, so here's the newest project. This is a late 90s EasyGo TXT. Uh, it came off of a dairy, so it's in pretty dirty shape, but for the most part, everything's here. Uh, I know it's the late 90s, not exactly sure of the year because it has a three bolt steering. Also, it had the uh, shifter for four owners of reverse down here. It has been switched over to PDS system. I ended up purchasing this from one of my friends and this was gonna be a project he works on, on a lot of carts and he had started with uh, kind of the overhaul. So in here we've got all new uh, lead acid batteries with a Navita 600 amp controller along with the five KW motor. So it does about 30 miles an hour right now and I'm gonna be doing a full restoration on this. So I'm gonna get the whole thing stripped down and I have a ton of new parts coming in. All right, so after about an hour, I got everything stripped down, all the panels off, dash out, just a bunch of rivets you have to drill out, really not difficult at all. Um, after pressure washing it off, there's really not that much rust on it, surprisingly. So I'm just gonna go through, kind of scuff up some of this paint so that I can uh, repaint some of the, the spots that are a little worse. I'll wire wheel some of this to get the rust out of there. Um, but really in, in fairly good shape.
All right, so right here in this box, I've got the wiring harness and all the lights for the Mad Jack Storm uh, body kit. Right now is really the best time to install it since I've got everything removed still. It's gonna be easy to route all the wires, get everything where it needs to go, and make it clean before putting the body on. Yeah, everything's packaged real nice in here. Uh, everything's labeled pretty well. We'll see how the instructions are, but it's a pretty nice uh, complete kit in here. All right, so here's the card as it sits. I decided not to record a lot of the wiring because it's just super monotonous, really boring, about six hours that I've spent so far just uh, wiring a bunch of different stuff, trying to clean it up, and I'll just kind of walk through what I've done. So I added these uh, kicker speakers. They're the marine grade ones. They're, I believe, 65 watt RMS, 90, or 195 peak. Uh, and they're powered by, I'm gonna test it out, Really cheap amp, Boss Audio Systems, four channel. Uh, I believe it's 95 watt RMS to each channel. So far, it sounds decent, not much low range, but it sounds okay for what it is. Um, up here, so we've got the uh, controller for the Navitas, or the, yeah, for the Navitas controller. Have the Striker uh, by Trail Tech GPS, so I can do uh, speed, and trip timers, and I also have voltage readers. USB ports there with the voltage readout. USB port on the inside right there. And then I also, these aren't, these are, aren't hard mounted yet, but um, these are actually license plate lights that I'm gonna have turned the other way around so that you have this lit up when I use the, um, the auxiliary controls on this. But so far, it's looking pretty clean. This is the control for the Boss uh, amp. And this will be hard mounted. It's just not there yet. A couple other things I did also while I had the body off was put um, a whole new steering setup in here. There's a lot of play in the old stuff. I, I only have one new tie rod as of right now with ball joints. I have one more coming. And also, I installed all new shocks on the front and on the rear. Uh, with this Mad Jack Storm body kit, it comes with a really nice wiring harness, so I have all the wires run. Just got to put the body on so I can kind of finalize the fitment on everything and then uh, tie it all down. So here's the Mad Jacks body kit. Um, comes actually really nicely packaged. It's in uh, some bubble wrap and then also a protective cover over the actual surface itself. Uh, doesn't look like there's any damage on any of the pieces. Uh, you got the grill up there. This is all the front cowl section. Then you got the rear uh, bed size and uh, battery compartment, bag carrier back there, rear bumper.
All right, so I finally got the Mad Jack Storm body kit installed along with the new floor mat and wiring's about 90% done. Um, I think it turned out pretty awesome, especially for never doing this before. Uh, instructions were pretty decent. All the lights and everything work. Uh, it does look like it's missing a little bit of something and uh, I think those are gonna help a lot with it. All right, so obviously I can't put all the work into this cart without upgrading the wheels and tires also. So for, the, for that combination, I decided to go with the Modzi Bomber 14 inch wheels on the Street Fox 205 40 14 tires. Uh, I believe this is the largest that I can fit on this cart without adding a lift kit. I didn't want to go all terrain because this cart will be on a golf course also. And so I need turf or street tires so that it you know meets regulations and everything. But what I'm going to do to protect these is I use this on all my cars. This Car Pro Deluxe uh, ceramic coating. It's for plastic uh, trim wheels. So I'll probably end up coating the entire cart also. Uh, but it just makes it super easy to clean these wheels. You almost don't even need to take a rag to them at all. Just pressure washing them off. Uh, we'll pretty much get all the debris off of them and it lasts for a really long time. So first I'm gonna wipe everything down with some isopropyl alcohol, make sure there's no grease on it, and then I'll coat them all, and then we'll get them on the cart. Well, I thought I was just about done with the cart, but as you can see, we do not have enough clearance, not even close. It actually rubs just driving straight down the road. Um, these wheels and tires were supposed to fit on this uh, model of EasyGo, but uh, they definitely don't. Uh, so we're gonna have to be putting a lift on it. I really didn't wanna do that, but we're gonna do a three inch spindle lift um, and uh, shouldn't have any problem with clearance after that.
So I hope you enjoyed this build because I really had a ton of fun doing it. Uh, it was actually easier than I was expecting. It turned out, in my opinion, better than I was expecting it to turn out. I really didn't know, you know, what we'd end up with never doing this kind of stuff before. And, or never working on golf carts before. And we've just, we've had a ton of fun with this thing. So far we put about 50 miles on the cart uh, since finishing it just to see if there were any bugs that we needed to work out, anything we needed to tighten up. And I did find one issue as far as the power supply goes on it. And uh, it's not a big issue for most, but it will, but for me it was a big issue. So it has been fixed at this point. That will be in a follow-up video. Uh, I just didn't want this one to get any longer than it already is. But we've had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you again soon.